That is one messed up looking tomato plant. It's tall enough, but where's the branches? It has not been a kind year for, for growing. For example, here's a common site. As you can see, the deer took this plant. It was about, I don't know, that high. They took two thirds of it. Now it's trying to regrow from the side branches below that cutoff point. It's getting kind of bushy, but I don't know if this plant's going to have the chance to produce anything this year or not. It's too bad. What do purple tips on leaves mean in tomato plants? Anyone know? These leaves are... Well, it's hard to see, but... Some of them have a purplish, brownish tint to them. I don't think I've seen that before. The good news is the flea beetles are gone. Left on behind only by their uh, holes that they made in the plants. But it's nice to see that there's not a single one around. Although, unfortunately, they're probably in some kind of dormant stage hiding somewhere. And they'll just pop back out later, but they're gone for now. Maybe the warm weather scared them off. I just dug up another plant here, potato plant. Oops. And there's uh, five or six of these medium-sized potatoes anyways. Not too bad. And there's no bugs in them. So, uh, looks like we're doing good. I think I'll leave the rest of them in the ground for about another uh, two weeks and then I'll dig them up. And then if we have a decent fall here, actually I'll get a second crop in of potatoes, so that'll be nice. I think I'm going to grow some garlic uh, next year as well. This is the first time I've ever grown garlic and it um, turned out okay. Apparently it's not too hard of a, a crop to grow and it grows fairly well in cool climates like uh, up here in Canada on the coast anyways. Um, so what I have here is a few cloves that I pulled out of the ground a few days ago and I just left them out in the sun. Garlic you plant in the fall, about three weeks before the first frost comes. And you plant it far down enough that the uh, green shoots won't come through the surface of the soil by the time the, the first frost comes. And then um, when the frost comes the garlic kind of goes dormant for the winter and then uh, it's not killed by the frost, it's uh, the roots and the, the shoot that's coming up is fine and then once spring comes then of course the shoot reactivates and comes through the surface and then you get these big big green uh, stalks that grow up. And then one of the stalks usually turns into a, like a looks like a seed bulb on top and um, you cut that off and that can be eaten as well and then um, then the garlic continues to grow and then about midsummer which is I guess now, usually um, July-ish or so, the garlic will start to wilt and look like it's dying. Well that means it's done, it's ready. So you just fork it out of the ground carefully and uh, leave it in the sun to dry. Although I'm reading that there's some people that say you need a curing shed or something, but uh, I don't have that. Uh, so I left it in the sun and it looks like it's, um, it's about ready. So I'm going to learn about how to store some of this for next year and then I'll plant some more next year. Apparently you just crack the the bulbs open and plant the cloves individually in the ground, um, which I'll be doing, I guess, probably sometime around October-ish. Um, so I'll keep you updated on that. Garlic's a great thing because, uh, for one thing, it keeps pests away from your garden. Not a lot of insects or uh, pests like deer and rodents like garlic, and they tend to stay away from anywhere that has garlic. So it's something good to um, to plant in your garden for that reason. But it's also, of course, a very very delicious uh, food and can be added to almost everything. Alright, this is just weird. I just came out to my compost bin and two of the side slats have just been torn completely off. Whoa. Looks like there was some force used. Nail went straight into the wood. Hmm. And there's a bit of compost scattered around. So, hmm. Those were nailed and screwed in quite deeply into this 4x4 four four post. 
I really don't know what would have had to come along to rip those off of there. I get deer um, back here, but deer don't eat compost. Raccoons? I don't know. Doesn't look like a raccoon could have done that. And as far as I know, that we don't get any bears or anything in this area. Odd. I'm going to try something new. What I got here is a couple scoops of compost that's been well decomposed. Most of that food's been in there for a year or so and turned almost completely into just nutrients, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make kind of a soup out of this stuff. I'm not sure how watered down I'm going to make it, but um, I'm going to make some kind of a, maybe a tea, you could call it, and pour that on my plants tonight once the sun starts going down, and um, it's got to be very nutrient rich, I would expect. And I won't put it on all of my plants, because hey, you never know, it might be poisonous or something. No, I don't think it can be poisonous. But um, I've heard of other people doing something like this, in a similar manner anyhow. So, making myself some compost tea. It's sunny for about the first time, oh, I don't know, this year? <laughs> Since the Winter Olympics anyways. It's been uh, pretty dark and wet and cold here. The Vancouver area. And about past week or so we've had sun or overcast days. Not really any real heat yet to it, but hey, I'm just happy the plants are finally getting some sunlight. Strawberry patch continues to do well. Um, more flowers keep appearing all the time, so I guess we'll get some more strawberries off of them. Blueberries did not do anything this year. I guess they were too small of plants, but um, I'm going to get them in the ground and by next uh, summer hopefully we'll get some blueberries. I can't remember if this is a squash or a zucchini, but uh, anyways, it's finally starting to come to life now that there's some sunlight here in the area. And uh, it's going to put out some flowers. Hopefully it'll get a little bigger. It's a bit small. Some herbs. I think this is some mint. So the hillside's just covered in purple flowers. These are sweet peas, wild sweet peas. They do quite well here. They grow like crazy. These, these uh, long stalks. Anyways, quite nice to look at. And uh, during the fall, the little seed pods burst open in the in the dry heat and little peas go flying everywhere. I hope everyone's enjoying their summer. I hope everyone's enjoying their garden and getting something out of it. Uh, so far for this year it's been a learning experience for me for sure. Looks like I'm gonna get a decent crop of potatoes. The tomatoes, ugh, I don't know. Uh, looks like I'm at least gonna get something off of them and I'll get my seeds back so that's good. That's really what I'm looking for is getting my seeds back. So I can continue uh, growing these same uh, heirloom seeds, but I don't think I'm going to get a huge crop this year, but we'll see. And, uh, well, just enjoying the weather today, that's for sure. Not too hot, not too cool, but it's really nice to see the sun.